There is no doubt that robots inspired by animals or insects are some of the most useful and versatile machines ever created. After all, these are creatures that have been honed by millions of years of evolution to be incredibly successful at surviving in a wide variety of environments. But researchers have found a way to avoid the laborious and expensive manufacturing processes that are necessary for creating nature-inspired systems. They are now turning dead insects into machines. Rice University recently published a study in which they reused the carcass of a spider to construct a pneumatically actuated gripper that was completely functional after just one easy assembly step. Within minutes, a dead spider was turned into a fully functioning grabber that scientists controlled with the push of a button. Welcome to the age of necrobots. Spiders are essentially just hydraulic grippers in animal form. They are able to control their legs by regulating the blood pressure in each leg individually with the help of an internal valve system. When the pressure is higher, the limb is extended. When the blood pressure inside the body drops, the limb contracts into a curled position. This is the reason why spiders' legs curl inwards as soon as the spider dies, because they lose the ability to actively pressurize their bodies. So this means that it's not too difficult to move all eight legs of a spider. All you have to do is push air into the center of the valve system, and the legs will immediately inflate and straighten up. And that's exactly what these scientists did. So researchers got to work and they picked a wolf spider for this experiment. They then euthanized the wolf spider by exposing it to freezing temperatures for a period of 5 to 7 days. Then they turned the dead spider into a gripper. The production of a necrobotic gripper involves just one straightforward step. Insert a needle into the valve system of the dead spider, secure it with glue, and attach the other end of the needle to a system that can deliver small amounts of air to activate the legs. Once this is done and the glue is hardened, the spider can be used as a necrobotic gripper. The gripper will stay closed when there's no pressure applied, but when pressure is applied through the syringe, the legs activate by extending outward, and the gripper opens up. The gripper has the ability to lift 1.3 times its own weight, has a peak gripping force of 0.35 mN, and can actuate at least 700 times before the limbs or the valve system begin to deteriorate in any major manner. This experiment was the first of its kind, and the success of this experiment has opened up a lot of possibilities. For now, insects seem to be the most suitable candidates to provide the greatest promise for necrobotic applications. And these necrobots take advantage of the built-in features like biodegradability and camouflaging capabilities. Let's see what the future holds for these necrobots.